Hey everybody out there who enjoys uh, the dark side. It's not dark today, we're doing it during the daytime and I am driving around on the road uh, kind of getting a different kind of motif for this video. Um, I don't know, I thought I'd be creative today. And uh, I think my wife told me I need to change things up on the videos a little bit. You know what, I am however gonna make it interesting though because I'm gonna drive through a graveyard while I'm doing this. A cemetery. Wait, there's a difference. One's out of a graveyard is off a church, I believe, and a cemetery is something that is its own separate. That's what I've been told. I was yelled at one time by somebody about that because I called a graveyard a cemetery or something back and forth. I don't honestly care. Um, so, cryptids and UFOs. Um, did I, the second time we've done this video, I've already screwed up the word UFO. Is that not true? I called it the same thing, like UFSO. UFSO. That's it. It's just not that damn hard. There are only three letters. UFO. So cryptids and UFO. Uh, and lately we've been seeing a lot of teams being created, uh, whether it's because of the pandemic and everybody's bored and they can go up to the bush. That's the one thing they can. Um, whether we do. Uh, and what we prescribe to, the caveat being, I'll say that... Uh, I grew up in the city. I've always been a city boy. I am located just outside the Toronto area. So, okay, so we're talking about UFOs. Kind of hard to do around here in the city. Lots of uh, luminescence coming from the city. There's lots of air traffic. Um, it's, it's like just generally a lot of satellites. And what I mean by that is just things that are flying around the air for whatever reason, police, helicopters, yada 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 as well with a population of a couple hundred thousand or a million you can't tell if somebody's flying a drone maybe or or pranking people uh out in the country it'd be much nicer it's more of a matter of time i'm just not sitting around filming stuff and then going over it it'd be like going over your dvr 15 times a week um so no i uh, there are many other things I think about with UFOs. Somebody had made mention, and I do prescribe to the comment that, you know, if technology that UFOs or people with UFOs, aliens, have is so fantastic, um, why would they travel millions of miles to just pop in for the brief second that we have it? And then why do we always only ever have this loose-handed, terrible video cam footage of a light that kind of goes here and then kind of goes out of the screen and they catch it again. Um, I think the problem is is that I think it's gonna it's gonna have the same argument as many. We have a lot of really great cameras. And a lot of great surveillance cameras that run all the time. I mean there's establishments all over the place that have surveillance that are going all the time. Um, so it's hard for me to get into the UFOs when especially also through media seen kind of the same portrayal of what a UFO is, the same stagnant circular or box or weird device that's always powered by something, like who knows if they have a different kind of power, who knows if an alien isn't the size of the head of a pin, but there's a billion of them in that head of a pin. Uh, the problem is, is that it's based off of our perceptions of what an alien would be. So because that's such an incredibly wide spectrum, and I, I have a, I, I focus on ghosts, right? Uh, and that itself has an incredibly wide spectrum as to what it could be. I mean, a ghost could be, you know, the real form of a ghost could be a tub of margarine. But we don't know, right? So the real form of an alien, we're not sure of. So frankly, just the odds of catching it at a time, and I've got enough wrapped up in ghosts, I, I don't get into aliens. I'm not against people that are. It's fascinating, but it's it, for my resources, it's just uh, not applicable. Now going into cryptids, much the same thing. You know, I've lived in a bunch of different places. You know, I lived out west where we had Ogopogo. Uh, you know, here, I don't know how much there is around Oshawa. We're kind of a blue collar town. Most times it's a drunk, you know, it's just a drunk person that we are all claiming to see. Uh, and what I mean is like, it's, it's a cryptid type drunk person. It's not really a person. It's something that shows up out of the sewers and looks all hammered here in Oshawa anyway. 
but I, where it comes down to it, I, I guess I got to take a look at it and go, it's almost like orbs. The odds of me catching an orb that is legitimate is uh, 1%, so, or less than, but we'll argue 1%. So at this point, I'm going to now talk about, you know, cryptid. What's the odds of me getting a cryptid down here, like in Oshawa, in the city? If I was a cryptid, you know, or some innocuous creature that we haven't discovered yet, I'm not living here in the city. One would also happen to think that with the amount of video cameras out there and the surveillance systems, one would have been caught. Um, I guess I understand when it's out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but it's amazing that it's always the shittiest footage. Like, like I've got my cell phone in my pocket. I got a video camera in the car. I own about 11 video cameras. I've got to be honest with you. It, pretty much every single time I'm out, I've got something that could take video or picture. But yet, whenever these cryptids are found, it just seems to me that, oh my God, how do I now use this? But really, people nowadays are amazing with this stuff. It's really strange. I mean. And they say, well, it's technology, Dave. Okay, well, the Zapruder films back in, you know, the 50s, you know, when JF or in the 60s, when JFK was assassinated, you know, had a whole trail of things, right? And that's 50 plus years ago. At this point in time, we've got great cameras and every car's got one of those damn cameras on it. So why is it that we do not have a clear picture of any of it? We've got sonar, and we've got the Hubble telescope that can go 25 billion miles into space. We've got sonar that can go clear across the ocean, but we can't find Nessie. And Yeti and Bigfoot have been found, you know, 10 miles from residential areas. So why have a crews just blanketed those areas, those research areas, and still yet not caught anything? We've got thermal technology, but still haven't got anything. It's kind of like the, uh, Xbox camera, you know, it it works for what it does, and it's good at that. But it's never come back with something that makes you go look. It always has to be footage that we need to argue about. And let's even talk about cryptids. A cryptid, it's like an undiscovered creature. Well, science discovers, you know, zoological societies discover thousands of different creatures a year. You know, creatures that glow and all kinds of stuff. So are they really like, what, what is a cryptid then? Are these, is Sasquatch this big ape-like creature? Uh, or is it just a, a animal that is you know, going around that we haven't figured out what it is yet? I don't know. So I guess where it really comes down to it, opinion-wise, here's my take on it. I think we'd be very naive to believe that in the entire universe of planets, we are the only one that has life. Um, I don't think we're anywhere near discovering it. And I think that 99.9% .9 of the occurrences of UFOs coming to the planet are very prescribed as to what we expect them to be. And I believe that there are anomalies that can be explained. Maybe a lot of them government anomalies that they're just not telling us that they've put things there. Um, so, I can't, I'm not into UFOs because it's just, I've got more evidence of spiritual activity occurring. Um, not video, not picture, but audio and some personal events. But UFO, no, I, 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 can't, I can't bury my time and I can't, I can't put my team's invested time into it. Uh, and coming into cryptids, it's exactly the same thing. It's like, I don't know what the hell I'm going to find here. I don't really want to go into the forests in Oshawa in the middle of the night. Or day, I don't know why it has to be in the middle of the night. Or daytime and sit there and wait for something that's hairy and big tooth to walk by me. Because it's, it's probably Hank, some dude from South End or something. He's just, he's on a bad trip. So there's, there's my take on it. And cryptids, do I think cryptids exist? I don't know, I, I think there's lots of, I think there's lots of animals that exist we haven't found yet. I don't know about Sasquatch and Yeti and all that. I think maybe if they do exist, just let them alone. There's a reason why they're deciding to stay way out in the middle of Siberia or in Nepal or in the woods. They want to stay away from you, man. 
why did any of you people move to little towns? It's because you want to stay away from everybody else too. So that's my take on it. That's why we don't do it. Fortunately, chaps, we do focus on the spiritual or spirit, ghost, poltergeist, uh, gin, whatever you want to call it, side of things. Because um, I guess it's the easiest. That's it.